listening to me? I look into your eyes and I can't tell whether you're getting anything I'm saying. What's up everyone, it's Sleepy P and this is the Sleepy Shell Core. How the hell are you all doing? Welcome back, it's good to see you all. If you haven't already, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. It's a new channel, I'm new to this. Uh, so yeah, help me out. Anyway, let's have a look. Let's get straight into this. We've got the Adams family and more in particular Wednesday and the good news for all the Wednesday fans. It's coming back. Yes, we're going to get a season two of Wednesday. Since its release, November 23, the debut season starring Jenna Ortega has become Netflix's third most popular series of all time behind only Stranger Things at season four and Squid Game. Now that is some pedigree. Stranger Things, Squid Game, both amazing shows. And, you know, to be put in the same brackets as them is, you know, that's unfathomable. Um, you know, the actors, the writers, they must be so proud. The show also broke twice the record for the most hours viewed in a single week by an English language TV series. I mean, that, that's just epic. Yeah, the protracted renewal process caused some anxiety amongst fans, and there were some unfounded rumours that the show might move to Prime Video uh, since Amazon acquired the show's producer MGM and its content last year for $8.5 I, I, I did a video about that um, a week or two ago if you want to go and check that one out. Amazon had originally passed on Wednesday as an original series. Producers are also exploring ideas for a spin-off. Can you imagine if you passed up Wednesday? You would be kicking yourself. So previously, Goff's teased a season two teaser during an interview with THR. We want to sort of explore and sort of complicate all the relationships going forward. The school was closed when they left, which gave us the most possibilities for season two. And I think that's something that we're excited to explore. So it doesn't look like they're going to be going back to the school. Uh, but we'll see. For us, the show was also really about the female friendship with Wednesday and Enid and Mamias really being at the centre of that. And the fact that they, they really connected with audience has been really gratifying. Um, I mean, if you've watched the show, the relationship, you know, and the, the contrast between Wednesday and Enid, it was just epic. It made for such fun watching. And a big shout out to Emma Myers, who played Enid. She, she was fantastic opposite... Uh, Jenna Ortega. So we're excited to explore now that Wednesday's dipped her toe into the friendship pool. What's that going to look like? It's like she hugged. That was her big arc for the season, right? So now we do that. Then the other thing that's really interesting and to continue to explore is the Wednesday Mortician mother daughter relationship as well. Um, you know, which now that Morticia knows about the power, it's sort of given her an idea of how that's going to go. So how's, how's the relationship going to evolve between Wednesday and Morticia? Now, I will say that even though I'm, you know, I'm a huge Wednesday fan, uh, I was a massive fan of Zeta Jones as Morticia. I mean, she, she was she was good, but, you know, she was no Angelica Houston. So, no word yet on some key follow-up questions, such as how involved producer t director Tim Burton will be with season two after helming the first four episodes of the debut season. They would be foolish not to bring Tim Burton back in some capacity. I, I'm, he, he, you know, he needs to be involved. Wednesday is described as a sleuthing, supernatural infused mystery, charting Wednesday Adams' years as a student at Nevermore Academy, where she attempts to master her emerging, emerging psychic ability, thwart a monstrous killing spree that's terrorised the local town, and solve the murder mystery that embroiled her parents 25 years ago, all while navigating her new and very tangled relationships at Nevermore. I mean... How much can you fit into a series? The show's become a sensation with Wednesday projects selling a hot. <laughs> The show has become a sensation with Wednesday products selling at Hot Topic and Cakeworthy and the cast reaction to Ortega's show-stopping dance sequence racking up 80 million views on TikTok according to Netflix. I'm going to come back to that about that dance on TikTok and I'm, I'm pretty pissed about that but we'll, we'll go into it. So we've got the potential release date, cast plot trailer and everything you need to know. Basically, what, what this is saying is that, you know, the, the Wednesday, Christina Ricci, she she catapulted uh, uh, Wednesday Adams, you know, into iconic uh, status, you know, and it's, it's this article is saying that Wednesday delivers as promised an indulging helping of weird and wonderful, along with the choice monochrome fashions and unforgettable dance moves. Um, Wednesday dished up a couple of twists for it finale, leaving fans to guess who that mysterious text was from. 
again, I forgot about that. Yeah, she's got that text. Um, but we'll certainly need more of than speculation to satisfy our curiosity. The most obvious solution is another series, but will there be one? Hell yes, there is. There is. There is a new season. Release date, when's it back? On January the 6th, Netflix released a video which Jenna Ortega's Wednesday says over a montage of season one clips and footage of fan events over the past few weeks have been hunted, haunted and mimicked millions of times across the internet. It's been pure torture. Thank you. And Netflix has officially announced that season two is going ahead. But let's get back to this dance, right? To the tune of Lady Gaga's Bloody Mary, the dub that TikTok Wednesday obsessives have preferred to use in their dance tributes over the original Goo Goo Muck by the Cramps. <sighs> More misery is coming. The global phenomenon, I can't say that word, will return for season two. That's it. No, de no, de uh, no date, no details, just the commission. But it's fine. We can work with that. Now, I'm going to go back to this. Uh, all the fucking TikTokers doing the dance, you know, the, the Wednesday dance to Bloody Mary uh, by Gaga. Now, in, in the show, Wednesday did the dance to the song called Goo Goo Muck by The Cramps. And, I mean, that is an epic song. The Cramps are an epic band. I've, I, yeah, I've liked The Cramps for, like, over over 30 years I've been a Cramps fan. Um, and, to, and to see a track like that just brushed aside. Now, this, this is where you need to listen right, guys and gals, especially the idiots of TikTok, the place where brain cells go to die. Fuck you, TikTok. All you TikTokers, right? I just want to say this. Wednesday would not listen to Lady Gaga. Wednesday would listen to The Cramps. That's it. Th there's, no, there's no fucking argument here, right? Wednesday would listen to the cramps. Fucking idiots. Um, so yes, yeah, it's, apparently it's not just the dance, it's people dressing up, buying makeup and wanting to look like Wednesday Adams. Uh, the goths have been doing this for many, many, many years. Um, you know, embrace the lifestyle. Uh, the, the resurgence, you know, it's something that's been in culture for a long time, but never this pronounced. Um, yeah, and it's something that they want to study and understand as to why it's such a phenomenon. And I tell you what, it, it, I don't, you don't need to study it. I mean, I I grew up. I know I you know I know a lot of goths. Um, we didn't have emos when I was growing up, but you know there they are. Um, and yeah, I mean it, it's it's a really cool little subculture. It's better than all this fucking R and B shit and wearing fucking tracksuits and trainers and pretending you're from the ghetto fuck that shit be a goth much cooler um so there's a great deal of speculation about wednesday season two when it might land um but i mean uh, at least we know that it's gonna land and it's gonna land on netflix right so who will be coming back again it's unfathomable not to have Wednesday and a right hand thing return for season two. Uh, so we hope that Ortega and thing hand Victor Dobrant will be keen to reprise their roles. Wednesday's almost love interest Xavier Thorpe, played by Percy Hines White, is bound to join season two as well. Rebuffed but not forgotten. The poor dude may actually have a shot now that Tyler is out of the picture. Tyler, or is Tyler out of the picture? The last we saw Wednesday sort of boyfriend turned villain, he was detained. Uh, but something tells us that the guttural growl that he admitted at the end of season one could lead to breakout. If that's the case, then we might expect to see Hunter Duhan jump back into his hide skin for season two. We suspect the following will round out uh, the Wednesday season two cast. Emma Myers as Enid, we've mentioned. Uh, Joy Sunday as Bianca. Brilliant, brilliant character. Uh, George Farmer as Ajax. Um, yeah, Ajax is pretty cool as well. Uh, Naomi G... Ogwa as Yoko Tanaka, um, Jamie McShane as Sheriff Donovan Galpin. Jamie, he was brilliant. I remember him from um, uh, Sons of Anarchy. He was one of the IRA dudes in the Sons of Anarchy. Luis Guzman as Gomez Adams. I, sorry, I can't see Luis Gomez without thinking about the part he played in with the Millers as the uh, the, the the motorcycle cop. Uh, if you haven't seen it, go back, go back and watch it just for. The motorcycle cop in uh, We're the Millers. Uh, we've got Isaac Ordonez as Pugsley Adams and Fred Armisen as Uncle Fester. Now, we didn't really see much of Pugsley, um, although the, 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 the Isaac Ordonez that played him was fantastic. And I wasn't a big fan of this season's Uncle Fester, if I'm honest. I much preferred uh, Christopher Lloyd, but you know, 
you, you can't like everyone but i mean the cast of the the cast of wednesdays i, I mean <laughs> it's a brilliant cast they're likable characters i mean you might not like them at first but um joy sunday as bianca the the vampire i mean when it first started I was like, oh god she's a you know i'm not a fan but you know she, her arc was good and you know she came we she came around and we we found out you know that she had problems at home and stuff and yeah it was fantastic it's a great cast and that's another thing netflix don't feel the need to bang on about how diverse their cast is and I mean, it's it's one of the more diverse. You know, there's something for everybody, and I hope you know they 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 carry it on into the next one because it really does work and it fits the show. Right, Christina Ricci's oily Miss Thornhill can make a possible return as she didn't quite succeed in her ambitions during season one. Uh, Gwendolyn's oh, Gwendolyn Christie's Larissa Weems may have bitten the big one. But there was something a little ambiguous about her death. It's possible she could return. After all, resurrections are a thing in this world, and a story arc did not seem uh, somewhat cut short. Um, oh, Brianne of Tarth. They need to bring Brianne back. Some of the things she's been doing recently have been epic. Um, the the Sandman when she, she she played Lucifer in Sandman. She was epic in that. I'm a huge fan of Gwendolyn Christie, and I do hope they bring her back. On the other hand, poor Dr. Kimbot's fate was not so ambiguous, slashed and gashed. Ricky Lindome's character is unlikely to have survived the hired attack and this will probably not be back for season two. Not a great character. Um, I, th I think she was necessary for the, um, the, you know, the show to progress, but there you go. Well, Wednesday season two plot, what will happen? Again, it's pure speculation. Um, I mean, there's a lot of loose strings. Um, Wednesday's discovery that her boyfriend was the monster terrorizing Nevermore. I kind of figured that one out quite early, you know. A double dose of betrayal. He was being controlled by Ms. Thornhill. So, you know, uh, yeah. So they doubt that Tyler's gonna be uh, continued. But, you know, he, he could come back. It is it's that kind of show. So, he's, he's, at least he's not dead. So, we'll, 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 we'll see what happens. So, there could be other villains worth keeping an eye on. A few times the show name dropped the ominous presence of the Morning Songs, a cult-like group run by Bianca's siren mother, capable of luring in new members. Bianca's mother coerced her into agreeing to join them in order to strengthen their persuasive call. Um, so there's definitely room and scope to elevate the Morning Songs. Uh, one thing that definitely needs clearing up though is, like I said, the mystery texter. Uh, not long after Xavier gifts Wednesday a brand new phone, she receives a cryptic threatening text message complete with stalkery type photos of herself. We don't know who sent it, but you know, it could be, you know, it could be good. So the Wednesday season two trailer is up on YouTube. You can go and check that out. <laughs> As far as the, the new season, we're going to be in for a long wait. Um, I think everybody involved with that show was surprised at how quickly it took off. And, um, you know, you know, you have to get your ducks in a row and we'll have to see where it goes. But I mean, hopefully, hopefully it could be this year. We'll just have to wait and see. Let me know what you think. If you've got any updates or comments, let me know down in the comments section. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. This is Sleepy Pete. This is the Sleepy Shellcore. Peace out.